17. I don't know anything, but I know I'll miss you. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title today, you're going to spend the day with me, you lucky, lucky person. <laughs> We're going to basically spend the day romanticizing winter and i uploaded a reel about this today or i'm gonna actually I haven't done it yet because every january i really struggle i feel like it's that time of year where you know the weather's bleak it's cold um christmas is over you're probably on a downer because you know touch wood you had a great christmas and a great like festive period we're probably like we've run ourselves a bit dry in terms of like finances because christmas is expensive so you feel a bit trapped you can't really do anything you haven't got the funds to do a lot and i get so caught up in that like i really struggle to stay like i don't know positive and upbeat in january like it just yeah it all just feels a little bit bleak so I thought today I would prioritise just the smallest little things and just romanticise like everything, like give it like main character energy, you know? And I thought I'd bring you along with me and hopefully I can like inspire some of you to just like take the little things in life, really enjoy them, just focus on them, stop thinking about what anyone else and everyone else is doing, just focus on like your little wins and your little moments and you know, hopefully have a bit of a better more positive january so i've actually already started mine off i got a cheeky little costa and this is actually free this is free baby because i am on the costa club and i got a free drink today because i've spent a lot of money up until this point on coffee so i've got a nice little caramel latte in here i uh, had to go to town this morning run a couple of errands we're all done now so my first thing that i want to get done today is i want to go for a wintry walk i love winter walks like i know some people when the weather's like really crap people just don't want to go out obviously and like most of the time i'm that person but if i've got an entire day to myself and i have no plans as long as i've like wrapped up warm and you know got like wellies on or whatever's necessary like if it's muddy i have a great time so i've got my headphones i'm currently reading heartless by elsa silver and i'm loving it it's so good i'm like halfway through so i'm literally gonna put my headphones on and listen to my audiobook and yeah just enjoy nature um it's really cold today i think it's like two degrees at the moment and it almost snowed earlier it was trying so hard to snow but it, it didn't nothing really came with that but um <laughs> yeah so i'm just gonna enjoy nature it might be a bit frosty which i think looks so beautiful maybe get some like pictures and whatever I went all southern then i don't know why but yeah so i thought you guys could come along with me now um i came in you know that feeling when like you've been out in the cold for a while and you get that like pink nose you're a little bit like sniffly like in the summer when you catch the sun they call it like sun kissed because your nose and your cheeks and that they go a bit like brownie tanned color whereas i feel like in the winter it's the same thing except with brown it's like pink and so i like to go like frost kissed rather than sun kissed so i came in i had this like frost kissed look about me i just i love i love winter walks honestly it might be an unpopular opinion but i think i would definitely recommend getting out into nature in the cold just wrap up warm and just take it all in um it always just gives me a serotonin boost so anyway now you catch me <laughs> decluttering parts of my home i don't know if you can count this as like romanticizing i mean i guess you could romanticize anything but regardless i would really recommend like declutters organization in the new year i don't know that like fresh new feeling or whatever because even if let's say decluttering isn't like a goal or like a resolution or whatever that you have for the new year i feel like doing it regardless will then 
help towards the other goals you have because it's just like tidy space tidy mind you know so like i say i ran some errands this morning and one of them was to get some baskets from b m because my tv cabinet is like my cabinet basically like all my goes in here and it just looks obviously so ugly and two of the doors for this cabinet are glass so you can literally see inside even if the doors close and it just looked awful so i've just bought some baskets from b&m you know i think it's like you get three for three in a pack for 12 pounds you know nothing special but at the end of the day they're still gonna look a lot nicer than everything just in a pile and a heap you know in the middle of the drawers so i'm just trying to sort through all my stuff and hopefully when i'm done it's gonna look a lot tidier and nicer so that's the next part of my cozy day today so let's get on with it i've also got friends on in the background obviously because there's nothing else i'd rather watch whilst doing monday tasks so. As you can see in the preview, <laughs> I've decluttered everything. It looks so much better. And already I just feel like more put together. Um, I mean, I can show you, there's not a lot to really see, but this is now my TV cabinet. As you can see, I now have my baskets and they're looking great. So if we just delve into this one. So there's just like, that's kind of miscellaneous to be fair. These two are mostly stationary um, stuff. So they're all in there. And then like, this is, um, just random electricals, wires, that kind of thing. Things that just don't have like a specific home. And then this is like um, waxes and candles and all that good stuff. But yeah, it's just looking so much better now. So I think I'm just gonna chill out for a bit now. Um, I can't believe it's snowing outside. What the heck? I've got friends on. I think I'm gonna sit, do a bit of stuff for Instagram and just chill out for a bit. So I will catch up with you soon. I can't believe on a day where I want to like romanticize winter, it actually starts to snow. Back again. I'm actually just about to make myself a nice cup of coffee in my adorable <laughs> winter warmer mug. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I've just had a really chilled out um, afternoon to be fair. I've been playing uh, Dream Might Valley on the Switch, which if you don't know, the best way I can describe it is like Animal Crossing, but with Disney characters. Oh, it's just the most chilled out thing in the world you can totally listen to audiobooks playing it as well i don't usually because it doesn't take a lot for me to be completely distracted so i will miss an entire chapter because i'm my brain's just elsewhere anyway so it's 3 p.m and it's getting dark i'm not gonna lie i've been cold today i've put the heating on so it's starting to get a little bit cozy in here the snow has stopped which is really sad but I'm gonna get my blanket and get my book and just have an hour or so of reading, getting cozy while the sun goes down. I think it's gonna be an early sunrise today because it's just been so cloudy all day today. Oh, and a reading update on this as well, because obviously, like I say, I was listening to the audiobook of it um, earlier. I am obsessed with this. Obviously, it's, it's the second book in the Chestnut Springs series, and I loved Flawless. It was so good. I think I gave it a 4.25 star. I think it was so much fun. I'm 100% enjoying this more than Flawless. Today was the first time I listened to the audiobook version of this on Spotify Premium. And the guy <laughs> that narrates Cade's POV, I mean, he's doing a good job. It was really nice to listen to. <laughs> 
yeah i'm literally i think i'm on chapter like 19 or 20 or something now so we're gonna see how this continues nothing especially spicy has happened yet um but i feel like it's definitely on the cards to happen soon so oh, i'm just so excited i'm having so much fun with this i really recommend it I got a good chunk of reading done. I think I have like just over a hundred pages or something left. So I think I don't think I'll finish this today. Maybe tomorrow. The Chestnut Springs books just read so easily, so quickly. I think I'm probably just going to continue reading for a little bit longer, and then soon we'll get started on the last part of my romanticizing a cozy winter's day day. <laughs> So it's the last part of my romanticizing your wintry day and basically that is as easy as making your favourite dinner. There is just something about eating your favourite food that... Look, I'm a big foodie. Food is a big part of my life, I'm not gonna lie to you. As you can see, spaghetti bolognese is like just my ultimate meal. I know that's probably so basic, but I love spaghetti. So I tend to make mine of a packet. Um, I mean, this is just seasoning and then obviously I still use all the ingredients, but um, we're gonna make some dinner together and that is gonna bring us to the end of my romanticizing winter video. Also, um, elite bolognese, in my opinion, also needs to have carrot and the main star of the show, celery. Do not at me until you've tried it. The crunch. Look. Oh, incredible. romanticizing winter i really hope you enjoyed this video and that it kind of uplifted you gave you a little bit of inspiration motivation to just enjoy winter a little bit more this year just take a lot more joy in the little things you know i thoroughly enjoyed my spaghetti <laughs> so i'm feeling really good um i'm back to my full-time job tomorrow i'm feeling super revived and well rested and just in good spirits so if you enjoyed this video of course remember to like comment subscribe all that youtubey stuff that you know how to do and i will catch you in the next one bye